Hello, welcome to Wise Guides. Writing formulas for polyatomic compound. For right formulas for polyatomic compounds, there are four steps to follow. The first step is identify metal ions and polyatomic ions. The second, write the symbols, label the charges. Because we we given name, we need to write the formula, we need to deal with the subscript. That's why we need to write the, subs, uh, write the symbol, label the charges. So after that, well, we need to use charge balance to balance positive charge, the total positive charge equal negative charge, then we can write the subscript. The last step is remove the charges when finishing form formulas. So this is similar to when we write the formula for bionic, a binary ionic compound. So this is just a, we have polyatomic ions, right? So let's look at some practice questions. So first one is aluminum sulfate. We write symbols. Aluminum is Al and sulfate is SO4, right? After write this one, we need to label the charges. So the aluminum is three positive. The sulfate is two negative, right? Two negative. And then you look at this one. The total charge, if only one aluminum, one sulfate, it cannot be balanced. But now we need to figure out the subscript. So obviously, you can see you have three poly. You need two aluminum ions and three sulfate ions. And this is a, see three sulfate ions. Each one with negative two. Total is negative six charges. Aluminum each one each ion with three positive charge. Two ions total is positive six. So Positive six plus negative six equals zero, neutral. So that's why the formula is Al2SO4. We need to put bracket together is three. Because SO4 is a polyatomic ion. So aluminum sulfate is Al2SO43. Next is lysine is Ali. Chloride. Chloride is ClO because we know ClO3 is a chloride. ITE is one less, so which is ClO2. Now we need to figure out lysine is fixed charge with positive one in the first column. And the ClO2 is the chloride with negative one charge. In this situation, negative one with positive one, they can be balanced. We don't need any subtract. It means each one only one ion lysium, positive one lysium, and one negative chloride. So if one to one, we don't need to write any subscript on the bottom. Also, we don't need to put Bracket, right? The next is copper two. Copper is Cu. Copper two means copper with two positive charge. And nitrite is NO two because NO three is nitrate. So one less is NO two is negative one. That's why we see. These two go to this corner, means we need the two nitrite ions, each one is negative one, total is negative two charge, and the copper only one copper ions. 
and so that we have positive 2 plus negative 2 because it's 0, balanced. So the formula is Cu NO2 bracket 2 because well we don't need to put the subscript, right? We still have the other three practice questions. Titanium for bromate. Titanium is Ti4. That means titanium with four positive charge. And bromate is BrO3. And bromate also with nearly one charge. W nearly one. So the one go to this corner, the four go to this corner. And so that you can see you have four bromate ions, each one nearly one total is nearly four charges. And this is a uh, have one titanium ions, each one is four positive charge and together equals zero. That's what the formula is. One, we don't need to put one. Titanium T I V R O three four. We remove the charge, right? When you write the formula. Next is magnesium, is M G. So magnesium is two positive charge, which is stay in the second group. And this is a see, hyper iodide. So first you write iodate. Iodate is IO3. IO3. But now is ITE is two, but hyper means one less than iodide. That's why only IO, right? Because IO3, this is the ATE, IO2 is ITE, then IO, and, and with ITE, also we put the hyper, right? Hyper iodide. So this is uh, IO, because this is two positive charge. The hyper iodide is nearly one charge. So we need a two iodine iodide uh, ions total will be nearly two charge. This is one positive magnesium make two positive uh, two positive charge. That's why this uh, formula is well we don't need to write the one M G I O two. The last one is calcium per phosphite. Oh, sorry. This one, I think we per means one more. We need to have A A T E. Is A T E? This is A T E. So calcium is C A. Is phosphate? Phosphate. We can see. CA is calcium is two positive and phos phosphate is PO4 is phosphate and then is per means one more so that's why we have PO5 right we need to write PO5 and the phosphate is Three, neg three, three negative, three negative. This is three negative. And we figure out this three go to this corner is three, this two this go to the other corner. And so that they have negative six charge, this have positive six charge, and balance equals zero. The formula is calcium per phosphate is Ca3 P five two. Okay. If you still need uh, more practice you can go to uh Ming House at RRC at the blocks RRC dot
capital C A slash me. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.